Okay, this is a video of the Harbor Freight TV mount. This is their um, mount that handles up to 130 pounds and up to 80 inches. This is um, their part number 63155. 63155, and I bought this in November of 2018. So we're going to unbox it, and then we'll take a look at, at, um, at what's inside here, and then uh, install it. Okay. Well, here I've opened up the contents um, and kind of set them out so you can see them easily. Really well well packed and, and nicely put together here for Harbor Freight. So we've got um, a pretty decent manual. We've got the bracket that um, connects to the back of the TV. Those longer black pieces there at the top, there's four of them, are to uh, adapt to different Visa styles uh, for your TV. So you may or may not need all those. We'll find out. Really nicely packed and labeled tools and screws. And then really large bolts. And it looks like, we'll find out in a minute, I think there might be extra parts, which is always nice. We'll see if that's true when we go to install it. And then the articulating mount here, which was nicely covered in bubble wrap to keep it from getting scratched. So there are the parts. And I gotta say, everything is um, really um, heavy duty. You know, it says it can hold a 130 pound TV. That's, that's pretty serious. Those bolts are massive. And um, so we'll go ahead and, and uh, you know, set this thing up and I'll try and show you some of the major yeah, steps. Just a little orienting before I start to um, get this set up. This mount I got from Harbor Freight is to, to mount this TV. This is an LG 65 inch TV. I think the TV weighs something like 55, 60 pounds. Um, so this will be the goal to mount this TV. And then just to orient you, we'll be putting it in the living room here. Uh, back in that corner, just above the striped chair. So that's kind of the idea. I've got some tools sprawled out right now, and there's our kind of old TV sitting there. But um, we'll be putting it on the wall back here. And I measured the width of the TV. If I put it on this wall, um, it'll leave three inches to spare, just with the length of the TV. So I think I'm going to have the mount... Uh, you can see one of the studs is right along that uh, outlet on the basically between those two outlets So I think I'm gonna have the TV such that it's um, the mount is there where it might overlap the brick just a little bit um, Which is okay with me because I, I don't want to have it stuck in the wall here Okay, so that's just a little orientation on where I'm okay. This. Just real quick wanted to show some of the tools that I plan to use for this uh, We got the tape measure we've got um, Phillips screwdriver, um, the ratchet set, which I may or may not need, drill bits here. I think they say you need, uh, well, we'll read the directions. I think it's a 3 three sixteenth. The level, what would be really nice is a yardstick or a meter stick. I couldn't find uh, find one, so I'll use the measuring tape combined with this, uh, this level here to keep my line straight. Um, oh, and somewhere buried here, is a stud finder. We'll need the stud finder to mark the studs in the wall here. Okay, the first direction the manual has here is, um, you know, first clarifying, are you installing this on wood studs or concrete? They, you know, or, or some kind of brick. We're installing this on wood studs. And so it says, you know, mark your studs. Pretty obvious. Um, we need to find two studs side by side. This is um, what a stud finder looks like. There are many different out there. Usually costs five to ten bucks. Oh, and I suggest a good pencil that can erase well and use that to mark on the wall. So uh, I'm going to go off and, and mark those hole, those uh, spots where the bolts go and uh, get that three sixteenths uh, bit. Okay, so Harbor Freight has a really nice hardware kit, but it may be overkill for the average homeowner. They include this black lag bolt here. It's five-eighths inch, and it's three and a half inches. 
the average, the typical drill bit set that a homeowner would have is over here. And as you can see on the tape measure, that's maybe three inches. Okay, and that's with the, the, the bit just barely inserted into the drill, which might not even work. So you really don't have the ability to do a three and a half inch um, hole. Maybe you don't need a three and a half inch deep hole, I don't know. But I went to Har Harbor Freight, uh, sorry, um, Har Home Depot, and got a two and a half inch five eighths lag bolt here. And then just for demonstration purposes, I also got a uh, quarter inch uh, lag bolt. Now, you know, modifying the recipe might not be okay, but personally, I think for 30 cents each on these, you might as well get us a, a smaller lag bolt. And if you really don't want to drill that thick of a hole, I think a quarter inch is going to hold it. Remember that stand holds um, 130 pounds. And even my 65 inch TV is only 55 pounds, less than half of that. I think, um, I think this would work and it's going to be a lot easier to install and do a lot less destruction to the two by four stud, you know, where this guy would have gone almost entirely through it end to end, nearly all the way through. And you go through that stud in two places. So my advice, go get a five eighths inch or even quarter inch from Home Depot and get it two and a half inches long. Then you'll be able to drill the hole with no problem. You can even get screws there or like 10 cents or sorry, um, washers for, for maybe, uh, I think that was 13 cents. Okay. So that's what I'm going to use. You don't have to follow what I do, but I think it will be easier. Okay. I've gone ahead and marked the wall and I put in the first two, uh, pilot holes using the three eighths inch drill bit. Just want to show you how I marked it. I found the stud outlined it. Um, this one was a little off. That's why it's not dead center. I, the studs may be a little over that way. So I kind of made the lines here on both sides and there's the other one. Then I'm going to set the bracket on this and uh, drill the bottom okay, holes. So just put in the top two bolts and then uh, checking for level. Let's see if you can see the second bolt. Those are in and then I've got a little magnetic mount level down here which I've tried up above too and just verify level. And then I'm going to drill the, uh, and I've also articulated the mount if you're noticing that. And then I'll drill the bottom holes now to match that, that level. Okay, the bracket is fully mounted. You can see, since I used my own lag bolts, the four silver bolts in each corner. And uh, I've kind of articulated it, getting re ready to slip the TV on next. And luckily up ended up being up, so that's good news. Okay, so the bracket is now mounted. Now we need to mount the uh, receiving uh, bracket onto the TV, and I'll show you that. So on the back of the TV, they have what's called a visa mount. And that's a standard hole pattern on the back of the TV. Now Harbor Freight supplies a bracket, and if you can see those four holes there, right there, that's where the Visa bracket will mount, and that's what I'll be doing next. These are those brackets I was just talking about, still in the package. Just want to make sure you saw that, and the mounting hardware here. So coming back here, I've gone ahead and assembled the bracket. Now I have a 300 by 300 uh, Visa, and um, this, this was really easy, but it does take just a little bit of finesse to find the right spot. Um, I want to show you this is the part of the mount that's going to uh, connect and fit into the mount right here. So that top one is going to sit right in this this notch. So they tell you to put the bolt on ahead of time so that the bolt can um, be just on this side and then the two on the bottom are here and that will allow it to kind of rest while you're um, getting it mounted up there. So that's the next mission is to set the TV in its bracket up Okay, here. so we've got the TV mounted. And as you see, we can kind of adjust it as we want, but it's all mounted here. We had we tipped it forward a bit to have a nice angle for viewing. And I'm going to show you back behind kind of how we had um, you know, set the TV up on that stand. Okay, I'm back behind the TV set here. You can see the uh, bracket. Now right here this is the bolt that they tell you to um, put on just slightly 
um, before you try and mount the TV on the bracket. That's real handy because you basically take the whole TV and you rest it on the notch that's right here. And with this bolt loose, it just sits in there. So that gives you a lot of relief when you are uh, holding this TV practically, um, you know, almost over your head. Then you uh, angle it in, and these two bottom bolts, and so the, the studs pop, pop through the back from the mount that's on the TV, and then you put the bolt on here, uh, the bolt's on here, and uh, then it's secured. Then there's an angle um, control here, so with this bolt, and there's a matching one on the other side, you can configure the angle of the TV and um, let's see, you can kind of see how the TV's articulated here right now, back back into this corner. And they do have kind of a neat cable management system up here. A lot of people commented on uh, other videos, so it can help you kind of get your cables to the back of the TV. And there's the mount. So just kind of in review, this uh, Harbor Freight mount really worked out well was not that hard to install the small modification I went with using the slightly shorter uh, bolts is totally optional you really don't have to do it um, but I think uh, I think it turned out well this this uh, mount is just really flexible I'll give a shot behind there um, many configurations I've kind of found the one I like here um, but uh, really happy with the uh, Harbor Freight uh, 37 to 80 inch full motion TV wall mount. That's their part number 63155. Highly recommend it. I picked it up on Black Friday kind of deal for $30. Uh, I've seen it all the way up to $50. It's still a bargain at, at $50, bucks, so highly recommend it.